Hello Panda friends, in this video I'm going to walk you through my January budget. So first things first, I filled out this budget sheet from the budget mom. Um, and this is the starting point to everything. This is the most important thing. You could just do your budget with this and then it's done basically if you want it. Um, so let's just break down what it says. So I obviously put my income first. Um, I have two sources of income and then I added those up so I know how much money I have in a month. And then first I added all of my fixed expenses, everything that I am paying um, every month uh, that is the same amount, for example, Netflix or insurance. Uh, Spotify, rent, um, all that kind of things. So I put all of those down. And then once that was done, I added up all of those expenses. Um, so I know how much um, is going to just leave my account without me doing anything, basically. And then we go into the variable expenses. Those are the things that I have a control over, basically, of how much I want to spend, um, something um, like that would be groceries, um, spending stuff, um, spending money on like home things like cleaning supplies and everything uh, like that. So I have categories um, like groceries, home, uh, <laughs> Rossmann is a drugstore here in Germany, that's where I get my shampoo and stuff. So for shampoo and toothpaste and everything um, that is the category and then we have laundry because I have to do my laundry at a um, laundry place I don't even know how it's called a laundromat whatever it is uh, because I don't have a washing machine myself so that's the money I allocated for that and then I also have a category which is called cash but it is basically my allowance uh, that's just money that I can have with me to you know maybe get a coffee on the go <laughs> if i wanted um stuff like that maybe if i'm very hungry to just get a small snack on the go or whatever like like that so those are my variable expenses and i really really try to keep it to the minimum because i really want to save more this year and spend less and my spending habits when it comes to like planner things um they were pretty um, pretty out of whack <laughs> and I added up all the expenses that I had for planner things uh, in the last couple of months and the number was huge so I really need to stop spending on that uh, so there is no category for planner things uh, as you can see um, so this is <laughs> this is not a bare bones budget that is what the planner mom likes to call it this is not that because obviously I still have Netflix and Spotify and stuff that I don't really need. But I really try to eliminate some categories where I spend a lot of money um, like takeout or as I mentioned planner supplies. So those are not in the budget and I am going to explain in a second how I'm going to try to um, like not spend on in these categories. So. The next one is debt, so I am owning some money, so I am paying back some money every month. And then we have savings, and this is a pretty huge category at the moment. Um, the first one is my other uh, bank account that I am just um, like um, transferring a, a a money every month just to save some money um, and building up my emergency fund, so that is... 50 uh, euros per month and then we have a couple of sinking funds as you can tell so sinking funds are essentially also like saving money but they have a purpose for example if you know that you have a vacation coming up uh, next year and you don't want to be like surprised by the amount of money that you have to spend on that uh, you could like um, proactively save money um, before that even happens. So one of the categories, this one is a vacation to Hungary, where I'm from, uh, that my boyfriend and I want to take um, in the middle of summer. So obviously if that should be 
I don't know, in August maybe, then we have to really book things in June. So until June, I would like to have the money so I can book that vacation without like maxing out my bank account. So I we decided on a budget on how much we want to contribute each of us to the vacation. And then I just divided that amount that I have to contribute to our vacation by the amount of months so that I know how much money I have to save so I have enough until that month. So that would be 83.30 for me because I am going to be contributing 500 euros to that trip and I want to do that by June. So that's um, what I'm saving for that every month. Um, then I also have a um, category for going to the dentist because um, I am working on getting my teeth fixed so that is very expensive so I am saving for that also there are other things that I have to pay that uh, are coming up like tuition um, and so on and so forth so I have a sinking fund for all of these so then I have a total of um, total sum of money that are going that is going to go to savings every month so obviously once you have all of these categories um, you can add all of your expenses and um, like um, um, calculate income minus expenses so you know how much money you still have left after all the things that you planned. So for me that would be 314 um, euros every month that is still left after paying all of these things. So that is also just going to automatically go to savings uh, at the beginning of the month. I don't want to have that money on my account. I am trying to slowly get to a zero-based budget. I am not 100% confident. So I have a puff buffer of like 100 euros. So I am not going to transfer everything. I'm going to transfer this minus 100 so that I have 100 euros buffer on my account just in case I spend more or something unexpected comes in that I have to pay because I don't want my account to go into the minus or into overdraft. So I rather have 100 euros um, extra um, after paying these just in case I need that. And if I don't, I can still transfer that 100 euros at the end of the month into my savings account. So, you know, or just keep it and next month I can transfer the whole amount that is on here. So um, that is basically the breakdown of the budget. And after I saw all of these numbers, I knew how much I have to transfer to my savings account at the end, uh, beginning of the month, how much I have to pay for uh, my debt and so how much I have to withdraw for these because these I am going to be doing cash envelopes for. So I think cash envelopes um, are very um, a practical way to um, pay for variable expenses um, other than if you have to like pay for them by card. Um, then obviously that's not going to work with cash but all of these are going to work for me with cash so at the beginning of the month i am going to go and withdraw this amount of money and put these amounts into different cash envelopes so that every time i want to pay for groceries or home things or whatever i just get the, grab the cash and that's the money that's in those envelopes is all the money that i have for these categories obviously i am not going to um like <laughs> do this <laughs> um so strictly that i am going to be hungry all the uh, rest of the month if the money is gone for groceries obviously i am going to go and get some more money if i really need to but i am going to try to keep to these amounts because i think these are a good framework and um also, these are like close to what I would be spending usually um, every month, but they are a little bit lower. So I am trying to, you know, get to uh, 
get into the habit of spending a little bit less i'm not always buying everything that i want maybe just you know um go to the grocery store and not get the chocolate bar um and save on that or whatever it is so just a little bit lower than usual so i can slowly like getting to used to get to used to um spending less in these categories um so this is uh my budget and now let me show you how i'm going to do this so this is my uh well first things first i wanted to show you my other planner so this is my uh goals and budget planner i have a finances category in the back uh, i have a lot of decorative stuff but ignore that and then we have this insert from paper test designs that i filled out with all of this information so it's a little bit prettier and um easier to like bring with me because this is just a a4 piece of paper and so that i have all the information in my planner i marked all of my expenses on the monthly calendar also my income and then i marked the days where i have to withdraw and transfer the money well i don't have to but when i wanted to do it i put my income and also i put down my sinking funds and what i have to do in the beginning of the month like transfer the money and how much is it and so on and so forth so all the things that i have to know everything that is on this sheet is now over here and more because i also marked the dates where everything is going to be paid through auto pay and then we have just like the breakdown of the income minus the expenses and it also has a column for the actual income and expenses and that i'm going to do uh, at the end of the month obviously so that i can see if i kept to my budget if I was over it or under uh, and that is going to be amazing for me to look at to see how I need to adjust my spending or my categories so that is the first thing that I have in here which is by the way probably the most important um, and then we have these budget trackers um, and I have four categories out of the five variable expenses on here um, this is where I'm going to also keep track of my uh, spending in my, uh, my cash envelope system i have another thing that i'm going to show you in a second but this is also one of them and i know it is like uh, maybe a little bit overkill to track it on different places but i really want to have an overview in this section so i'm going to keep track of all the expenses in each category and so i can see how much it still has left and then we have daily spend trackers and i also have this subscription uh tracker in here this is all from paper test designs by the way online order tracker um and stuff like that which is not like i have more expense trackers and everything in here spending no spend challenge and saving challenge and everything like that but that's not really very important to the budget so and how I'm going to do the cash envelopes is I have this uh, pocket planner, uh, which is also my wallet. And if you, I posted a video on the flip through of this uh, at the beginning of the week. So if you want to see uh, what's in here in detail, I'm going to leave the video somewhere so you can watch that. But we're going to skip to the budget section right away because that is what this video is about. So in the budget section, I have these envelopes, um, let me show you, one that is not in the planner, so this is how it looks, it is punched for a pocket planner and it has just like the zipper and then you can put stuff in it, and I have one for every uh, variable expense category, and every one of these envelopes has one of these sheets in them, as you can see I have groceries and the amount that i decided on for my budget same thing for home and beauty and laundry and cash so every one of these has the sheets and we have this expense tracker here i can put the date the description the amount and the remaining balance in the category so i can keep track of how much money i still have left for the month in every category and obviously these doesn't have i, I don't have money in here I'm going to go tomorrow and 
withdraw the money and then put them into the envelopes and then keep the money with me wherever I go. So that's the way I am going to be keeping track of my valuable expenses. So that's basically everything I wanted to tell you about, I think. If you have any questions, let me know. I am not a budget pro or anything. I am... <laughs> I really am not. I really am trying to become better with my money uh, because I am really not good at it and I am overspending uh, a lot of the times and it was a hard pill to swallow <laughs> that I don't have an income problem, I have a spending problem and I really need to reduce my spending because I actually do have enough money every month to not just survive but also thrive. <laughs> and like save money uh, if I just don't you know spend <laughs> everything every month on like planner supplies and stuff so I am really not a pro but if you have any questions about my system oh sorry that was my neighbor if you have any questions about my system or budgeting in general I am going to try to answer your questions so let them um, leave them in the description box if you want to um, and also, uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I have an Instagram um, that's all about planning. Uh, it's Rebecca Plans, but I'm also going to leave the link in the description box so you can check that out. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!